children shall we start the fourth lesson of the first unit uh, we have completed all the three lessons now we have the last one that is again a story an anecdote titled as purigillu see purigillu is written by sudhamurthy sudhamurthy about her you have to read a brief profile given in your textbook she was born in 1950 at shigaon in north karnataka and am took in computer science she teaches computer science to postgraduate students a prolific writer in english and kannada she has written novels technical books travelogues collections of short stories and non fiction pieces origilly is taken from the old and and his god discovering the spirit of india 2006 penguin books new delhi uh at present actually you also have to know more about her uh, she is chairperson of the infosys group right now this unit as we discussed is mainly focusing women empowerment uh, sudha moti is such a personality like kristen uh, legard uh, she is also sudamothis also has marked her footprint in the society by uh, serving in different uh, portfolios right now this is a story actually horigillu uh, presents a psychological study of human minds and she is trying to mention the importance of social commitment she underlies this aspect by presenting her childhood experience through this story horigil right now let us read the story see before we start reading you all have to read the first two lines given as an entry to the lesson see backward turn backward or time in your flight make me a child again just for tonight by reading these two lines you can see uh, we all are um, very much uh, satisfied or we are very much uh, interested to think about our mem- uh, good old days especially Uh, our childhood memories right uh, so uh, it is a type of nostalgic experience right uh, we all think these types of experiences uh, with a, a with a type of uh, nostalgia right uh, so this is what actually uh, sudhamurthy uh, is presenting in this story her own uh, childhood experience right uh, now paragraph begins see whole summer days from this paragraph first paragraph uh, from this paragraph uh, up to uh, villages all over the country that is first paragraph you read completely see uh, this is what actually uh, the beginning of the story right uh, sudha murthy uh, now shows uh, there was a banyan tree a massive uh, umbrella like right uh, see the tree was like a massive umbrella tree uh, with its branches providing much needed shade and succor so uh, just you imagine a situation see we already studied we all know while speaking about uh, uh, the importance of uh, planting trees uh, it provides uh, a number of benefits to uh, people and also in this nature right so that we already discussed and we all studied in our uh, previous classrooms right 
Now, uh, when we have these types of trees in our surroundings, we also get this uh, benefit. What is the tree provides us cool shadow uh, than um, these experiences. It provides peace, right? Uh, it provides us peace, a joy, all these types of experiences we can imagine, we can have by, ha uh, by planting trees and growing it uh, in a uh, full-fledged manner, right? So the same way just you imagine a place there is a mass, a big tree, right? This provides cool, uh, then uh, joy, then uh, that type of relaxation, a peaceful mind, etc. So there was such a tree. Uh, she tell she was telling to us, right? Uh, she is uh, trying to communicate to us. There was such a tree, right? And um, uh, it is right now. What's another like, uh, feature? See, uh, under this tree, uh, horigillu. There was a horigillu. See, what is this horigillu? Uh, see, uh, a stone that can bear a weight. See. Uh, there was a horigillu. Horigillu means uh, a stone, a particular stone uh, made of what actually? A, a stone that can bear weight. Why? Uh, it was a large flat stone placed horizontally over two vertical ones. Uh, it was actually a bench like. Uh, I just uh, want you to look at this picture. Okay. So this is what actually uh, a horigillu. So, Horigillu uh, was a uh, stone bench like, got it. So this bench was there under this tree. And what purpose this did to travelers? They took a rest. It was a shelter for them. It was a place of relaxation for them, right? So when they were uh, walking, uh, carrying heavy loads, See, on this way, on their way to their destination, they took they, they took rest by sitting there. Got it? So, it was a type of relaxation for them. So, such a place was there. Got it? So, this was actually uh, the situation that uh, the writer uh, is revealing to us through this paragraph. Right? See, uh, one more thing there. Cool water would be kept in earthen pots. Right? earthen pots right uh, pots made of mud earthen pots natural natural just you imagine that situation earthen pots uh, near the bench and people could quench their thirst quench the word quench means right satisfy so uh, travelers as i told you travelers uh, carrying heavy loads on the way uh, it, it was actually uh, our uh, memory, uh, memory. What actually? Uh, see, people uh, in earlier times they were not having the facilities as we see at present. That means uh, vehicles uh, facilities were not there. So people in olden times they were uh, carrying heavy loads on their shoulders, right? And they walked long distance. So on the way uh, they took rest. There were such places. Right. Even now we have such places, uh, uh, sometimes you heard uh, Attani or Attanikal. Okay, so these places sometimes were uh, uh, actually rooted to this story. That means uh, when uh, there was a time, uh, people were having these types of uh, situations. Okay, so they took a rest and they continued after a while. So this place was called as uh, Attani, right? So this uh, Horigallu or Attani in our sense, right uh, serving this purpose got it so such a place was there uh, in her uh, place in the author's place uh, that actually uh, or writer is giving us right now uh, you see next paragraph you have to read next paragraph the horigillu in your village in our village holds special memories for me right so now after this paragraph right you have to read up to next page page number 27 people regain their strength up to this you have to read see from this what you can uh, find out see uh, writer is speaking about a particular experience um, as a child Sudha Muthi was she was uh, having this experience right she used to um, see that 
what actually uh, when uh, there was a place like this right people were taking rest so this place she now um, remembers a particular experience her grandfather uh, usually um, used to right uh, sit there and listen to the people who were talking see grandfather was listening to these people right so she was uh, uh, as a child she was also uh, going and uh, just sitting and uh, watching it right so what actually grandfather there was a, an experience grandfather uh, he was a retired school teacher and would spend hours every day sitting under banyan tree and talking to those resting there so this is what actually uh, that experience right so she also used to uh, go and listen what actually grandfather was doing there grandfather simply uh, spent his time uh, with these travelers who took rest under this banyan tree uh, right uh, uh, she was watching this and grandfather was not having any uh, responses right she, uh, he simply listened to them right uh, they were uh, having these types of issues right see they they were uh, they were speaking about their uh, daily worries tensions all these problems right so an example is given the uh, master ji these people ordinary people village people they were village people right laymen so these people were speaking to or talking to uh, grandpa what matters see Uh, an example master ji this summer has been so hot i have never seen such a dry weather or they will speak like this uh, it is getting difficult for me to carry these large loads thank god for this horrible so they all will be uh, speaking uh, what actually benefit of this place right this place gave them uh, relaxation peace of mind etc right so uh, they were thankful to god for providing this place got it uh, thank god for this horrible i wish my son would help but he only wants to go to the city so here we have to think one more point here actually uh, they wanted their children to help them but children were not ready to uh, help these people so it it is a type of uh, uh, what uh, a miserable situation right a lamenting right so children's negligence also pointed here they wanted to get uh, help from their children but children were not ready to help their parents so that point is the anyway so this uh, situation gave them uh, a type of uh, relaxation and peace of mind right then um, after uh, listening to these problems or these uh, uh, this description of their daily worries grandfather just listen to these uh, problems he was not responding to anything uh, sudhamuthi uh, said uh, what actually simply listening okay my grandfather just listen to them this listening gave them happiness okay uh, then uh, she says uh grandfather told her the importance of horigalu see horigalu is an important or essential thing in our life because once we are living or once we are doing any type of work in our society we will be having number of problems worries tensions in our mind so we all want to uh, get a place to uh, free to make free all these burdens so such a place is essential once we are uh, free once we are actually uh, speaking uh, our problems to someone else indirectly it will give us a type of uh, uh, feeling what is that a relaxation so in order to have this feeling an origel is essential so grandfather told uh, sudhamuthi uh, what actually this importance of origel because this is an outlet this is a place for everybody right to uh, to just release their burdens okay so by uh, releasing their burdens means simply just you speak to someone about your uh, worries right about your tensions you will have a type of feeling 
right that is what actually an essential thing in our life right so this is what uh, we have to get from these paragraphs right now you have to answer some questions here uh, what is a horigalu what is its purpose second question what are the special memories that other associates with horigalu right third question how does the grandfather refresh the travelers then is horigalu essential in a journey why then horigalu gives everyone the opportunity to regain their strength what does the author try to indicate here next bring out the symbolic significance of the word burden okay so these questions we have to answer in your english notebook okay that's all thank you